Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of Chai Dam Cases with Sanket Jain. The case for today's episode is application of Kanban as per your request from the earlier session. In the first episode, we discussed a case study from building block model. So those of you who haven't checked it out, you can. And in today's session, we're going to be looking at a case study which was introduced in Case Study Digest. And uh, as per your request, I'm here to discuss it along with you over chai time. So let's begin with reading the case. Okay, before we begin with reading, actually, I want to tell you something about Kanban. Kanban a system is actually a, a system which is used for inventory management. And it was introduced in our syllabus along with GIT, which is a pool system of inventory. So primarily, Kanban system is used along with pool system of inventory. All right. So these are certain things which we need to keep in mind before we begin with the Kanban system. These are the basics of Kanban. So let's read the question first and then we'll try to uh, think of the answer and then we'll look at the answer what they have given. Overtop cable cars OCC engaged in assembly of cabin used on ropeways. In order to assemble cabin, three major parts of different shapes and sizes are used. These parts are assembled with help of specially designed dome nut and bolt made of brass, product code brass DIN 85, which are manufactured by reliable hardware and metal works. Plant layout design of OCC comprises assembly line where multiple products are assembled at one point of time. Hence, there are multiple workers who are using such nut and bolts simultaneously. Such nut and bolts come in set along with washer and all three spares collectively consider as set. Since the plant facility of OCC is situated in remote area, hence majority of workers are neither unskilled or semi-skilled and, sorry, are either unskilled and semi-skilled and literacy rate is also low among workers. This causes variety of problems including not informing production supervisor about the reordering of such, which is brassed in 85, a class of store and spares items. Due to ignorance in workers towards understanding of the stock levels and their relevance, many a time stock of such spares ordered later than it should be, hence got out of, hence got out of stock. This further leads to stock out situation in some of the cases which result in contribution loss. Reliable hardware and metal works is long standing supplier of brass in 85 to OCC, hence reliable in term of both quality and delivery time. RHMW took single day as lead time, okay, very important for us. It took a single day as lead time to deliver the reordered quantity. Despite the reliability of supplier, OCC wished to maintain CFT stock equivalent to three days. All right. Uh, three days consumption for production facility. OCC is using latest version of SAP as enterprise resource planning, which is installed just three to four months back. Employees are being trained to use the respective modules of SAP and integration among various functions or modules is ongoing. Plant of OCC works for six days in a week. And during a week period, 1200 units of Brasden is required for production. Consumption of Brasden 85 in order to assemble the cabin cars are constant throughout. So consumption we know is constant throughout the year. OCC during first phase of its drive to implement lean manufacturing is working on its operational efficiency and tries to reduce inventory by introducing a Kanban system. Explain the Kanban in inventory management for entity like OCC. Okay, so you have to explain Kanban in inventory management. Also explain Kanban be applied to non-manufacturing entities. Alright, so the first part the answer is uh, we know already that Kanban uh, is a visual queue system. It's a notification card, something like that, right? It also holds the quantity of material as well as the quality and all the details from where we have purchased it as in the vendor from which we have purchased this material, the type of materials, if there are different types of materials, the storage location of the material, all of that is stored in Kanban. And Kanban helps you to uh, tell the em employee or the staff or the operator of the machine that how much quantity will be required, right? So that uh, only the enough quantity which is required is consumed and only that is used while uh, and also because of the pull system we will order only also that much quantity. 
right so there is no work in progress being accumulated here so can one actually tries to uh, reduce work in progress through this system it should actually be applied with uh, cellular manufacturing but that is another part uh, kanban system is uh, when i talk about inventory management system it actually helps to reduce work in progress through, through the process i just mentioned and uh, that is how occ can reduce the inventory which they are trying to do uh, using kanban for non manufacturing entities uh, it will uh, not involve inventory with kanban because non manufacturing entities do not deal with so much inventories right so for them kanban can just help them to uh, streamline their flow of work and uh, having said that what i mean exactly is that it's like a tracker how much work is done what is required to be done next what is ongoing okay and uh, what is left what is pending all of that can be managed through kanban because it's a notification system so uh, the further person who is required to provide or do something to provide the entire service to the customer can be notified using a kanban system all right that is what is kanban now calculate kanban size and number of kanban required in case of occ for this we need to understand the formula behind what is the formula for calculation of kanban size although you can also uh, use uh, uh, eoq method but uh, it's uh, because we are talking about kanban let's discuss the kanban way of solving this so kanban tells you that uh, to find out the kanban size okay as in the number of units in one kanban so for that what we need is to look at consumption first of all right and uh, given the case above what is our consumption our consumption is 1200 units for a week but everything else has been given as per day basis on in days basis right not in weeks basis so we'll convert this into weeks considering a thing which is a prerequisite actually there are multiple prerequisites which i forgot to mention in part a so let me uh, tell them to you here so the first pre prerequisite is that your demand or your requirement should be constant throughout the period okay otherwise so it's not necessary that it's constant but if it's constant then it's better kanban will be easier to apply but if it is not constant you will apply, you will have to uh, use a smoothing factor which will also uh, look at uh, further with a formula so a smoothing factor will have to be applied to uh, take care of the variations in the demand and the requirement also the second requirement of kanban application is that your supplier should actually provide the materials on the point of use as in directly to the machine where the material is going to be consumed for production right so these are some uh, things also third thing is that uh, kanban holds material also so kanban has like you need to have the requirement and you need to have the space available for uh, uh, for storing the kanban also so that requirement is also to be fulfilled now coming to again coming to uh, kanban size so we need to look at our consumption which is uh, 1200 for 6 days so it is 200 for a day so my consumption is 200 now this consumption is multiplied by lead time okay and uh, lead time is one day which is given to us so it is one day this is multiplied with location now what is location got to do here location is uh, that we have one kanban at our place we have one kanban at supplier's place so ideally there should be two if there are more given then you will need you need to consider more but it will never be less than two right so the minimum is two and then it can go above as exactly mentioned in the question so if the question tells you how many number of locations are there you need to consider that but if nothing is given you need to consider two as locations so two and also now what you need to multiply is smoothing factor as i mentioned smoothing factor if there is no smooth like here in case of occ the requirement is constant throughout the period so in that case smoothing factor will be one okay but let's say the requirement multiplies by 1.5 times the normal capacity then the smoothing factor will be 1.5 all right so that way you need to calculate now the calculation of this is kanban size as in the number of units in a kanban and this is what 200 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 which is 400 so your kanban size is 400 so you will have 400 units in one kanban this is the calculation then we also sorry it it should yeah it's here yeah we also need to calculate the number of kanbans required 
So the calculation on number number of kanbans is a little different. For that, you will have to check out the consumption as in the requirement in totality, as in the consumption plus the safety stock that you want to keep is also your requirement. So our consumption is 200 and safety stock we are keeping for three days as exactly mentioned in the question, right? Equivalent to three days consumption. So three days consumption will be 200 plus 200 into three. This is my consumption during lead time. plus my safety stock all right this will give me the total requirement which is 800 okay and this has to be divided by the num the kanban size actually so 800 divided by 400 we calculated the kanban size so the number of kanbans is 2 all right so that is how you uh, calculate the number of Kanbans. I'm going to write the formula again for you guys or rather I will show you the formula in the answer only. It's the same thing. Consumption during lead time plus safety stock divided by Kanban size. That is your number of Kanbans. Coming to the third part, list the factors to be considered and specific precautions or prerequisites prior to uh, OCC. This is OCC. Took. Uh, task of applying Kanban system. So there are certain requirements, certain prerequisites like first of all you have to rely on the supplier. The supplier has to provide as per the Kanban lot. It also has to uh, have the location or the availability of space for storing this Kanban. Okay. And third thing is it needs to also supply which we talked about earlier also. It needs to supply directly at the point of use. So these are three things which are related to supplier. Then uh, our workers have to be trained to understand the Kanban system. So we need to provide them training if they are not. Also, we need to have a constant requirement. If it is not constant, then uh, uh, we need to apply smoothing factor. Again, a prerequisite. We need to also reliably predict what is our requirement or consumption going to be. Like for OCC, we need the uh, we already know that our consumption will be uh, at a constant pace because they have been working and they have understood that it's always constant throughout the period. So for OCC, it is simpler, right? But for any other company if it tries to apply Kanban the prerequisite is that reliably predict what is the consumption going to be and also it should be constant normally otherwise smoothing factor needs to be applied. Then also they are talking about SAP. Okay I am going to come to OCC a little bit. They are talking about SAP. So integrate the SAP system with uh, their suppliers so that they also at the same time understand what is required, how much of what is required and at what time. So they'll deliver accordingly what is required by the prerequisites of a pool system of inventory or GIT is the same thing here, right? So these are the requirements or the prerequisites that I think are very important if we apply Kanban. Now, we've discussed the entire answer. Let's quickly look at the solution by the Institute. Talking about Kanban system, it is a visual signal based workflow management technique used in inventory management, essentially with pool system of inventory, visual cue to worker to understand further material is required further material is required right exactly what I said then uh, it reduces the cycle time and enhances the predictability definitely the cycle time will get reduced because uh, everything is happening on a very timely basis time bound basis uh, so that is why your cycle time will get reduced will get reduced um, also then Kanban holds a specific amount of material which is Kanban size. Uh, it also maintains information or the details about the product and while calculating certain things have to be considered like consumption is to be constant throughout the period otherwise smoothing factor will need to be applied and supplier deliver material at the point of use then requirement in terms of space to store the Kanban is also met. In non-manufacturing facilities it is uh, smoothening the Workflow rather than inventory management. Uh, signal based dashboards is used to manage and improve the workflow and uh, categorize the work into to do, ongoing, and done. So, something around that only we discussed. Then, coming to Kanban size, it is consumption into lead time into location into smoothing factor. Consumption is 200. Remember it very specifically if you are, if everything is given in weeks basis, then you take the consumption also in week basis. If everything is given in days basis, convert the consumption into days. All right. So that has to be constant. That has to be ma uh, matched. Then lead time is the 
uh, is one that is given to us in the question. Uh, L stands for location of can man. Okay, so one container of material at both the locations, entity itself and supplier. Hence, L is two unless otherwise provided in the question. And smoothing factor is uh, is to set off seasonal variations in consumption. For OCC, there is no seasonal variation. It is always uh, constant throughout the period, so it remains one. Okay, now you calculate. So our calculation will be. 200 into 1 into 2 into 1, which is 400, exactly what we calculated. And then number of Kanban. It is quantity of safety stock plus consumption during lead period divided by Kanban size. So 3 days into 200 is 600 plus 1 into 200 is 200 divided by 400 gives you 2 Kanbans. Economic order quantity can also be practiced, but if not mentioned in the question and you have been given this data, use only Kanban, not EOQ. And then coming to prerequisites or factors to consider. So supplier right to supply material in lot size equal to Kanban size. This is something we also talked about. Supplier participates in full system of inventory agree to Kanban stocking. Then agree to supply material directly at point of use. Consumption pattern uh, be constant throughout or uh, if not constant, if it has variations then apply smoothing factor. Requirement regarding handling and storage of materials that you need to have and then contribution margin on sale of product in which raw material is used. I think this point number six is unnecessarily mentioned here. I don't see the point of this, but uh, still you can use it as in to understand uh, which raw material is used in which product and to understand better the contribution margin of that product to understand the costing and the profitability. Coming to specific precautions for OCC, workers need to be trained because workers are unskilled and untrained literacy is also low. So they need to be trained here uh, regarding Kanban. Then demand or consumption has to be constant which, in, which is in favorable for OCC because they have a constant uh, requirement and consumption. SAP needs to be integrated with the supplier system to practice the full system of inventory. Alright, that is what is our answer for uh, the prerequisites or the application of Kanban. Okay, so this is how this case scenario should be completed. I hope it uh, uh, it solved your doubts. It also helped you to understand this uh, case study. Also, in case if you like this book, let me tell you about it. I forgot to tell you in the last one. If you like this book, this is actually Scopeview by me. Uh, Scopeview charts uh, con con uh, contains 101 cases. Okay, 68 by ICI, 33 from our side. And this is available on our website www.scg.com. So you can check it out definitely. And uh, all the best. I'll see you in the next one. And also don't forget to mention in the comment section below, which topic do you want me to take up in the next episode? I'll take up a case from that specific topic you select and then I'll discuss it with you over chai. Also, by the way, I have a cup here, right here. And I hope you're also enjoying chai while watching this. So all the best and I'll see you in the next episode of Chai and Cases with Sanket Jai.